Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. I'd like to say a massive thanks to everybody that sent in well wishes regarding the operation I had done on my leg. It's all healed up, it's back to normal, and I'm back to work on Tuesday. Tonight's nightcap. My Harrison 140 is a metric lathe, and I work on a lot of imperial stuff, so I do a lot of imperial scroll cutting. To do imperial scroll cutting on a Harrison lathe, the correct change wheel is a 127. You can't get a 127 in, so I use a 63. You can't buy 63 tooth change wheels, I've tried. Nobody seems to have a one for sale. One of the lads on the forum I go on to, like the only forum, there's a the MIG welding forum, that's the one I use, asked us if I could make them a 63 tooth gear, the same as mine. So it's a nice nightcap, it's all about gear cutting. Uh, it's one project, but we split into two parts. I did the free monthly draw earlier on today. I'm just going to put the winner's name up again, just so there's another chance that somebody can pick it up, because I've had quite a few that haven't been claimed. This is a 63 tooth change wheel. It's used to convert the metric lathe to an imperial lathe as far as screw cutting goes. It's a transition gear. Normally you use a 127 gear, but you can't get a 127 gear into the lathe. So you use a 63, which gives a very, very close tolerance as far as cutting imperial threads go. These are hard to get. You can't get them. I actually made this one some time ago. I think it was a 72 tooth and I recut it to a 63. I've been asked if I can make a one. Uh, one of the lads on the forum I've gone to can't get one. So what I've done, I've made a blank out of tough knoll. I'm going to use that for the, the gear. There's two or three reasons. It's easy to machine. It's quiet. And if you get a, a mistake on the lathe and something locks up, it'll just strip the teeth on this as opposed to causing any sort of major damage. I've got a tool here that I got off a good friend of mine, Australian lad called Bruce Witham, and it's used for measuring what they call a DP angle. That's books and pages on gear cutting, and I don't want to get involved in all that. I just want to know what the DP of this gear is. I know it is 14, so all you do is run this into mesh until it starts to mesh properly, which is that one there, so the gear is a 14 DP. I've got a cheap and cheery Chinese gear cutter here, 14 DP. This one will cut between 55 and 134 teeth. So that's the one to use for that. There's a simple formula to work out the diameter of that. I'm going to show that now. Then we'll turn this down to the correct thickness, the correct diameter. And I've got all the bits and pieces that I made when I did that one. So we can do the gear cutting on the milling machine. Right, to work out the diameter of the actual gear wheel, diameter equals the number of teeth plus two divided by the DP angle. So we need 63 tooth, so it's 63 plus two divided by 14. And that will give us the diameter. So it's 63 plus Two equals sixty-five divided by fourteen equals four point six four two eight five seven inches. I'll convert that to metric and then we'll do a little bit of machining. Okay, so we've got four point six two five on there. We'll change that to metric one hundred and seventeen point nine two. 118 mil. Sounds good to me. The gears are actually three quarter of an inch thick, 19 mil, and that is 21. So I want two mil off that face. It's just off this stuff is not good for you, not good for you at all. I'm going to have the vacuum cleaner run it to try and pull all the horrible dust in.
Right, that's down to 19, that's ideal. It's made up of like fibres, so it's impregnated with resin under pressure. It's used for insulation on big switch gears. That's where this comes from actually. Big switch box. I've got an adapter here that I made when I did my gears, which saved me all the hassles of making the one. That's not very good, John, is it? You've got the chuck jaws in, pissed look, idiot. That's a bit better. There was a little pin in there. There is a little pin in there. That's what locks onto the gear. Sort of from turning, that fits into the keyway. Nice tight fit it is, like that. That's the other fairback gear that I made. Really nice tight fit on the key, which is what you want. Okay, so now we can machine the OD of this and put a little tape around each side. And it's used on that little jig there is mounted in the dividing head when we're going to do the actual cutting of the teeth. I'll just throw this up and then get a measure of it. I think there's a little bit to come off it, but not a fantastic amount. Just is absolutely horrible. One hundred and eighteen mil. We've got loads there, hundred and hundred and twenty seven. Point two. And this should be the last cut. It even looks bad for you the, the dust off this stuff. Right, that is 118 dead, happy with that. I'm going to put a little chamfer on each side now. So that now we're ready for setting up and ready for gear cutting. 